Now the manhunt for the gunman who shot a musician during a nighttime robbery. Police have photos of the attacker. They just need help finding him now. WVTM 13's John Patkey has the crime's impact on the revitalized community. Woodrow Hall has been at the heart of Woodlawn's revival. Andrew Morrow's family spent the past decade restoring its glory. My workshop is right down the street. Um, we. Um, I come here on the weekends to work events, weddings. Moros noticed their Woodlawn investment is not alone. A lot of positive things. Um, a lot of new businesses have moved in. Then around midnight Wednesday, someone shot a musician during a robbery behind Moros building. Sad and, and, and angry, frustrated. The victim is still recovering in the hospital in stable condition. The musician was shot after playing a concert here at the Desert Island Supply Company, the venue normally hosts writing and art workshops for students in the community. After the shooting, they've decided to temporarily stop holding concerts at night. Take a good look at these security photos. Police hope the public can ID the gunman in the gray, because catching the culprit will make Woodlawn safer for business owners like Morrow. Because I personally have invested a lot of time, effort, money, uh, my family's livelihood on this neighborhood. And uh, so these sort of things can scare a lot of people away. Um, and they have. Hopefully, a quick arrest can keep Woodlawn's progress moving forward. In Birmingham, John Papke, WVTM 13.